Hello everybody, Swift here again with another rotator run. And today I'm gonna be doing a run with the knight. He gets two melee damage for every point of armor you have. And uh, yeah, that's the only thing we really care about. Now let's start with the spiky shield and we're gonna transition into a sword, half sword, half spiky shield build. At least that's the idea. And uh, we're gonna go full on armor with the new legendary armor scaling item that got added in the game. In case you don't know, they added a new item that literally scales armor, which is in my opinion completely insane. And I wanted to test it out and see how this runs gonna go but let's hope we're not gonna die here let's hope we're gonna get the second chest we found the second chest now let's hope again we're not gonna die and now we're gonna start the madness so that item is this the anvil one of the most powerful scaling items uh, the earlier you get it yeah, alongside green, uh, Grind's Leaf. So we did a run with that yesterday. Hopefully cards gonna appear top right. But this anvil, a random weapon, is upgraded when entering a shop. If you have no weapon to upgrade, you gain two armor. This is the armor scaling part. And of course, we also get free weapons out of it, which is, you know, a win-win situation right there. Can I get luck? You know what? Let's uh, let's get 5% damage. Can I get luck here, maybe? Okay, form 5 luck. Very nice. 4 melee damage. Not really that useful. Let's go with 3 health. Let's get the shield. I'm not gonna need to buy armor at all. We're gonna get so much armor. Look at this. The first shield is already legendary. How insane is that? And we found the sword. We're gonna definitely knock that down. I want to have this sword later in the run. So let's hope we're not gonna lose here. You know what? I think the shield was cheaper than, than uh, 3D. So ah, it is what it is. Let's go. If that was a shield, we could have gotten it. Also, right, we got a two shield bashers here. This is what we're going with. Uh, if I survive this wave, we should most likely win. I already got our first box. Hopefully, hopefully we're not gonna get overwhelmed because right now we don't really have defense, we don't have healing, we don't have a lot of things. So we definitely want to maybe survive if we're lucky enough. Actually, the mo the main issue is I don't have healing. That's like the main issue right now. Da -da 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 two, one, and we won, right? Yeah, we won. Nice. 184 coins and 200 with future. Let's go and level this up. So that means now uh, one of my two weapons is definitely level up. Let's go three health. This is a guaranteed 10 luck if I can find it, that is. So we're going to try to force the 10 luck here. Very nice. And here we're going to go into sword. And now we have an actual factual build going. And another sword. Very, very nice. Our armor is already at 10. I already got 10 armor. As I said, we're going to go three shields, three swords. So we're closing into that. And these things are going to instantly get legendary status in a moment. So as you understand, everything is coming together. The plan is coming together. Of course, I would also like to get a Sift Relic at some point to not need to pick up every single XP on the ground. And attack speed is also really important, although this guy gets, I think, half the attack speed than other characters get. So uh, there is that. I guess there is that downside of an attack speed issue on the horizon. Now, we found already two boxes. So right now, the only thing that needs to happen is for us to survive three boxes. Even better, let's run into the Madness Theorem. Let's maybe get even more box, actually, as those boxes are definitely important boxes and at this point we are ready to fly off so right now we have 10 armor let's maybe try to roll another luck or something better uh five percent damage i guess is a choice let's roll these 10 harvesting a bit of money for the future 15 attack speed that's good although we're getting half of it nine life look at this 10 armor and everything is legendary so uh 10 armor doesn't mean anything we are the same as what we used to be is what i meant with that and uh, the last weapon we're gonna go with is our sword not our shield so that is it and we're done. That was it. The build is ready. Now we just need to scale health. And after that, we're done here. We can even get another sword because why not? Let's also get more damage for free when we pick a material. Also, why not? Let's see what we can get. I don't need these. I don't need things that give me armor and pretty much make me lose something. There is no reason for us to do that. We will get so much armor at some point that nothing is even going to matter. And honestly speaking, sorry for those hiccups. Let's lose some life from damage. Yeah, I'm having a hiccup right now. Yeah, I'm actually having a hiccup attack. It's gonna stop. I'm able to stop my own hiccups by just believing that they're gonna stop. I think they already stopped. I don't feel the urge anymore. Anyway, so yeah, the plan is... Honestly, I don't need to invest into anything, right? Because... I actually, I only need to invest into attack speed, and I'm not even sure this guy has weighted attack speed items, so I, I don't know where I'm going to find that attack speed. But the thing is that, uh, look at this, my armor is at, at what percent? At 44%. Right now, I'm taking 44% of this damage, and after this wave is done, we're going to be getting, like, I don't know, 1,000% of this damage. You're, you're going to see. It's just going to be madness incarnate. It's incoming. It's incoming. Uh, look at this. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. And now, from 12 armor, you know what? This is a uh, luck roll here. We're going to definitely take the luck. And here we're going to get the attack speed. And after that, I guess even more luck because why not? And uh, I don't enjoy any of these, but 6 max life is good. And from 12 armor, come on, man. Uh, 10 luck. And from 12 armor, we're going to go up to, boom, 32. 68% of damage taken. And I mean, if I re-roll through these, 
Yes, maybe there are some weird ghosts which will instantly kill me if I try to take it. But otherwise, look at this. Duct tapes. I mean, I'm literally finding double duct tapes. Leather vest. We lose, like, a thing for dodge. Dodge is irrelevant to me. I, I, I don't care about it at all. And there isn't even a reason to care about it. Maybe this is the play, right? Attack speed and range, but even then it's not. Maybe this is the play because it gives us movement speed and damage. I think that is the play. I think medals are the play. Lumberjack is a definite yes. Yeah, maybe I should just reroll through these just to get as many um, medals as possible. I'm going to be the metal carrier or something, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, I, I don't think there is like any reason to invest into anything. Yeah, including medals, to be honest. Like, range damage, but we heal. Yeah, we're going to definitely go for healing. And let's go. Like, nothing really matters shop-wise, so maybe I shouldn't even enter the shop. Like, to be completely honest, maybe I shouldn't even enter the shop. At this point, we're taking 69% less damage. Nice. And uh, we will be getting 99% less damage at the end of this, I'm pretty sure. As far as I know, I already did a run with, like this. Almost a run like this, like 99% armor run. Hopefully, a card's gonna appear at the top right for that, too. Where I did an armor run, but that was for a different reason. And it wasn't with scaling this weapon. The fact that I got an armor run going already, and then this weapon just happened to appear... <laughs> And I'm like, well, it is what it is. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna now do a scaling armor run. Which uh, hopefully is gonna be better than that one. And I also want to see which of the two weapons are gonna do the most DPS. The sword or the shield. Of course, we're gonna continue with what we had going. Now, come on, man. We're gonna go with one of Sift's Relic. You know, because we want that. And now we're gonna go with a bunch of Anevelis. And attack speed, of course. None of these, to be honest. Attack speed again, 20%, 15 luck, very nice. Movement speed, once again, is also a thing we need to get, but... Triangle of power, literally insanely bad for us. 68 armor. Will we get enough of these? Will we get enough? Let's get a movement speed for that. Crit chance and melee damage for max HP. Honestly, yeah, I can fix my crit chance issue. Maybe. Although I do enjoy just turret. Wow. Let's go for luck. Let's get another metal. I mean, the medals is what I'm searching down anyway. Like, th th that's why I'm rolling through these. To try to get some metal. Losing some range isn't really that bad. If I take the ghost by mistake, the run is like over on the spot. <laughs> instant death. Instant overness. Let's lock this down. And I think I should even stop buying at all. Completely. I should stop buying. I think the build is ready. I just wanted to get my movement speed going. I got my movement speed going. We're not gonna lose any more movement speed. And now we just target to get as much... I guess, um, yeah, as many boxes as possible, as much luck as possible. I mean, the shop did sell a ducky, but I don't think it was a weighted item. I think it just was a ducky. So, uh, I believe that there is no real reason to continue shopping. I do know people enjoy shopping, the shopping part of this game. And I also enjoy the shopping part of this game. But if there are half the items in the shop, not half, if 90% of the items in the shop aren't something you are willing to buy, why do you go through the shop? Just, just you know, save yourself some time in real life. You know, some real life time. <laughs> me included, and you guys included too, right? You, you don't want me to roll through shops just to look into the shop, right? So we're just gonna go with buy a bunch of anvils and see how much we can scale this thing. Let's go. But I will reroll these into luck if I can. I need to invest every single point into luck. I don't need health anymore. I just need... You know, the money is for luck. If it's 5% luck, I'm taking it. If it's 15% luck, I'm taking it. If it's 10% luck, I'm taking it. I don't care. We're gonna invest every single thing in the luck. And... Uh, oh, gentle aliens are here too. I completely forgot about that. I complete Warrior's Helmet. Lose movement speed for no reason whatsoever. I don't need this. You see, luck is what I need. And XP gain is also what I need. So maybe re-rolling these isn't that much of a bad idea, to be honest. As long as I'm uh, looking into what I want to buy, which is either medals or luck. Uh, and I think I should also stop meddling now, because uh, I already got my 3d4% movement speed. Which at that... Whoa, here we go. You see? You see? That's why we do this. And also, I, I want to avoid having as much healing as possible. I want to be like, okay, if we find some healing, we heal. But otherwise, we're just a mad lad with the swords and the shields. We just continue going in loop-de-loops. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's actually stop should buying at all completely. Because now that I'm thinking about this, the thing I said previously is actually correct. I don't really want that many things from the shop. And honestly, the only thing I'm achieving by going through the shop is wasting time. So let's not waste time. We're gonna only get... Uh, yeah, we're gonna get whatever luck we need from level ups. And then uh, we will just hope to get a bunch of chests, right? That is pretty much the plan. Now, the main reason why I would like to shop, as I said, is either to gain more luck or to gain more trees. But honestly, with so many trees that we're getting already and so much luck we have already... I mean, look at this. We already got so many boxes. So many boxes. <laughs> let's roll it down. Boom, 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 boom. I already have gotten 110 armor out of that. So that's really good. As I said, we will force these into luck. There is no reason to go into anything else other than luck. 
So uh, I'm willing to spend literally all my money for this. And definitely better than the rolling the shop itself. 15 luck, let's go. That was very lucky. Uh, 20 attack speed is also good, of course. But I, I, I said we're going to go only with the luck. I know 20 attack speed. Let's go only with luck. Should I reroll these into maybe finding more luck? Because anything else is really relevant. Maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe this is the best way here of doing things. Either a ducky or a cap. Or, um, yeah, I don't think we're possibly going to find here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find anything there. Yeah, you know what? If I'm rolling through the shop this fast, then we're going to be good to go, I think. We're going to be rolling through the levels, and we're going to be rolling through the shop. That's pretty much it. Would be really enjoyable that... Oh, look what we get. Let, look what we got. Nice, 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 nice. My new, my new um, quote-unquote addition to this mod would be quick rolling, which I don't know even if this is codable. <laughs> Actually, no, the new addition to this mod is weighted items. That's what we're waiting for. That was like at least the plan the last time I checked with the uh, dev. By the way, this mod is just becoming a super duper do whatever you want to do in this game mod, which I really enjoy. I do enjoy, you know, it's going to become the mod that just allows you to literally do what you want, right? Do you want to find a, a specific item easily? Done. Do you want to find only specific items in the shop based on what character you play or well, not based on what character you play? Done. Do you want to be able to pick up instantly an item from a golden chest? Done. Do you want more opponents? Less opponents? Bigger stage? Less stage? Like everything that has to do with modifying the game itself is this mod pretty much. Which is done by Dariyoshi, and uh, I think another person is helping. JP, uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure about the name. I'm, I'm like, you know what? I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name exactly. But you can comment down below and tell something or say something like, "I'm the second one that is." Uh, yeah, I'm Harry Sift. I'm the second person that is modding this mod. And if you want to do something, well, you know, we can pin you. Maybe I don't know. We can pin the comment. I guess if I remember looking into the comments to pin it, uh, or if I remember, I mean. If you pointed out, hey, Dev Sift, I'm the second mod creator of this game, or even if Dario Yoshi watches this and you want to get pinned, you want to announce something to the people, and just, you know, comment down below and tell it and say it. Uh, or you can even add the fact that, yo, pin this, please, you know, and I'm, I'm going to pin it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they fixed the reroll bunny re and uh, refreshing the price of the reroll shop. Nice, nice. That does not, did not used to be the case. So that is a very nice. Uh, we're doing already thousands of damage, but my armor is at 96%. I want to not have healing, but because opponents are dying, healing is forced. There is no way of not healing being a thing. Come on, man. Slice that. Let's go fight. I do enjoy that we have that whenever we kill an opponent, we do a luck damage to another opponent. So the opponents just get smacked all over the place. And we also have the same effect for picking up materials. So I just see opponents in the background getting hit or whatever. And they explode. I don't know how much damage they're taking, but they're definitely going down. And I do enjoy this a lot. Look at this madness. You can't even see the swords swinging, but the swords are crazy powerful. And we're running through these. And the shields, of course, are also helping us. Maybe I'm fighting a couple too many opponents. Maybe that is what's breaking the mod with all these mods wide open. Oh, there was a little guy over there. Uh, there was a treasure gob. Ah, we lost like one treasure. Whatever. It is what it is. Whereas some other people would say lucky boxes. <laughs> Let's reroll this. I'm never gonna drop that joke. <laughs> I'm never gonna drop that joke. Um, let's continue until luck. Very nice. 20 luck. Very nice. Here another cyber ball. Let's buy that too. Because why not? Let's go pick up range. Let's continue with going for luck as much as I can. Seems like the scaling of this has become a lot faster. Or I'm just not getting as much crazy money I used to gain. Yeah, I think I'm also not gaining as much crazy money I used to gain. We can definitely go with this. Are these fixed? Now that's a good question. Are the boxes giving me 50 coins fixed or not? Because that used to be bugged out and didn't used to be the case, right? Like, uh, if you had boxes... By the way, I have 500 armor. We're going to get so much armor here. If, uh, if you had the boxes give you money thing, it straight up didn't function. Let's see. Is it fixed? I think it was fixed. Let me try. Uh, oh, I already picked up the box. Here's a box. I'm going to run two boxes. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be a difference because... There seems to be a difference because, yeah, I seem like an instant rise of uh, room. Yeah, there, there, there does, it does happen, it does happen. The small rise of money does happen the moment I pick up a box. So it definitely is a thing. So that is good, of course, because now we've got another mechanic here that we are glad to have. I would, I, I'm really glad, I'm really excited to see this uh, when I pick up materials, this damage, when somebody else dies, this damage thing. Maybe I should do a run with this again. Maybe I should do a run with Lucky again. Or we can just magnetize every single 
point of food and then everything just straight up dies all the time because everything drops money on you and money kills everything and just a chain reaction of events. But in case you don't remember, that thing, ha we were getting so many boxes because of so much luck that we had. It was borderline unbearable, so I'm not sure how much of a good idea it is. <laughs> Let's continue with the Iron Velts. Most likely gonna end this with like 2000 damage or something. Uh, when I say damage, I mean... Yeah, I mean actually damage. <laughs> I also mean uh, armor, but I also mean damage because, let's not forget, we do get damage based on how much armor we have. We'll be starting going through these a bit faster, and if I miss something, then so be it. The idea here being once again to maybe find luck. Oh, there was a, there was a big armor item there. Oh, there was also luck there. I, I just missed luck. I was going a bit too fast. Let's maybe speed this down again. And uh, speed this up. Here we go. And that's it, let's go. Cool. That was pretty fast, I have to say. 2000 damage, and of course we also have the chain reaction. Let's see, can we get kills with the chain reaction only? Ah, maybe, maybe. We're, still, we're very close to it, we're very close to it, don't get me wrong. But we're also not exactly there yet, so it's like a 50-50 right now. If we get like 5 or 6 of these with more, then it's gonna happen. Not 5 or 6, actually, I think if we get 2 or 3 more... Like, if I get two more of those that say when an opponent dies, and two more of those that say when I pick up materials. Like, those two, everything together, should be permanent. Everything is toast all the time, every time, every second. Which would be fun. I mean, would be fun, it is fun. I do want to have a global magnetism that just destroys everything. And the fact that this is the build now, this is the build now. <laughs> the build has now become, you're the lucky character. Although you still have 98% damage taken. You know what, I want to get 100% damage taken. Is that a thing? I want to literally see 100% less damage taken. I want to see that there. I want to I want to bring my defense up to 99.6% so that the, 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 the number actually becomes 100. That is what I want to see. That is what I want to see. And let's see if we're going to ever see it. Oh, we're getting about 200 armor per turn now. So we're definitely scaling on that aspect. <clears throat> let's roll through all. We found luck. Very nice. Uh, once again, luck mainly... Uh, luck's main purpose is for us to be able to... Find more items. That's it. I don't know why I said to be able to. It's just for us to find more items. It, it has nothing to do with being able or anything. There was a there was a pickup heals you thing. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. As you see, we're flying through these. Off we go into another stage. Over 70 minutes in the video at wave 12. Let's see. Chain reaction incoming. Nope. Chain reaction still not incoming. But this is supposed to be a swarm stage, so this should make us rich. Let's see if there is an actual difference, right? Most of these stages gave us about 3,000 coins. This is a swarm stage. Will this give us... Um, I'm gonna say if it gives us 5,000. So if it gives us about 30 to 40% more coins, then I'm okay with it. Otherwise, I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's going to be... Um, like, it's not worth it is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's better to play have played an elite stage that at least drops you a legendary chest. Or, you know, a rainbow chest in our, um, in our um, instance. But still, this is supposed to be... This stage is supposed to be you get more money out of it. That's what I'm trying to say. So, if, if there is no more money to be gained, or if the difference is like you get 100 more coins... Then, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't see us getting more money, actually. We just hit 2.54k. Yeah, that, 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 this is a useless wave. I guess the stage is bigger or something. That's why it's worse. Let's get a bunch of anvils. That's, that's literally what we're going with. 970. 1,000 armor, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, extra skeleton. Let's continue with that. I'm running through these a bit too fast. Here we go. Now extra skeleton. That's the only thing I'm buying, by the way. And also the robot arm. And the reason is very specific. I want to lose all healing ways. All ways of healing. There was no robot arm, but whatever. Let's go. Let's go. 99% less damage taken. So we are at the door of the end. So right now I have a thousand something armor, which is 99% less damage taken. If I can do, I guess, a 2000 armor or a 3000 armor, theoretically, theoretically, we should be able to get 100% less damage taken. Theoretically, theoretically. Now, practically, I think it doesn't really matter, though. Because even if it says 100% less damage taken, won't we still get only hit for one? Like, I don't think you can get hit for less than one anyway, so it doesn't even factually matter what is happening. I should also maybe not have picked up any healing whatsoever, because right now my healing is the fact that whenever I pick up materials, I have an 8% chance to heal. And also the food. No, I, I cannot make it so I cannot heal. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, the food is literally... Yeah, we are always going to be healing from the food. So, 
maybe if I buy the item that hurts you or whatever, the thing that says you heal 3 per second. 4 per second, actually. It got buffed. The thing is back. Oh, 1,300 armor from this thing. 1,370 armor in general. Oh, man. 6,000 uh, 6, armor incoming in a moment. Where's my luck? Where's my luck? Here it is. 5%. You know what? Let's stop rolling. Let's stop rolling. I took the decision upon myself and decided to stop rolling. For you guys. And now you guys are going to be like, we didn't want that, man. We wanted you to continue rolling. For us. Don't tell us you're doing it for us when you're doing it for yourself. <laughs> but if we want to see you roll through the shop and buy the same things again and again, we don't want to. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm making my fun of myself, I guess. I don't enjoy being self-deprecating. I mean, I'm not really self-deprecating. I'm just making fun of the, uh, I guess, the weirdness of the decisions I'm taking. With weirdness, of course, I'm talking about the fact that, um, you know, I'm saying that buying is irrelevant and then I continue buying that kind of thing. So let's continue zigzagging. Elites are toast, as always. They always are toast. 5,000 damage. Okay, yesterday I was doing 5,000 damage, but at the end of the game. Now I'm doing 5,000 damage at the middle of the game. And also, what does more damage? The knife or the shield? Let's see. 1,775 armor. Armor continues scaling. This is madness. And my luck is at 345. Okay, and now 20 on top of it. Let's find some luck. Here we go, now 20. That was very lucky. So, um, 32k, 35k. 28k, 40k, 36k, 61k. And just like that, the shields have lost. But why do the shields lose? I think the shields lose because the swords just stab around and do weird stuff. Because in reality, it doesn't even make sense for the shields to lose. As um, as they were doing more damage, if you didn't see. The shields were doing more base damage than the swords. So something is fishy. No, I mean, it's definitely the fact that the swords are sliding. And slashing and most likely might have a bigger at better attack speed maybe the swords are better at attacking often which i didn't really see i only looked at the damage numbers because in my assumption it's like i'm running in they all got smacked once and they die so attack speed is irrelevant that's why i didn't look into attack speed but uh let's be honest about this attack speed is never irrelevant so um yeah that was a classic rookie mistake Rookie numbers and rookie mistake. And we found even more boxes. Just look how many boxes we're getting. Luck, man. Every five luck is almost another another box we gain on the next wave. I mean, this is really what it feels like. 7,000 damage is what we're doing now. Of course, we're going to continue scaling. Now we're going to scale even faster. My armor is at 2,237. Which is, of course, insane. I love the anvil, man. The anvil is completely not really busted. And I just love it. I mean, of course, getting it 10 times makes it busted. Right? But, um, yeah. Let's go. What did you think? I'm gonna go through the shop? I told you I'm not gonna shop again. I just wanted to reroll one. I'm gonna do my luck. I'm gonna do my lucky thing. Hey, look at this. It looks so awesome when the opponents just disappear because of all the mats you gather. I'm telling you, we need one more elephant or one more half face. And nothing is gonna be even surviving just by me gathering materials. That, that, that fact alone is gonna be enough. And I do enjoy that that also happens when I just run into a mass of opponents. Like, I see a mass of opponents, I run into them, and because I'm killing, like, 50 of them at the same time, I'm also picking up 50 mats, everything else on the screen also dies, which is just straight up awesome. I do enjoy chain reactions, I do enjoy all this madness of, you know, this dies, that dies, and then everything just all together. I should stop saying these words that I'm doing, using, because, you know, shadow ban incoming. Shadow ban being that it's not a real ban, but it just doesn't show you on feeds of others. It doesn't give notifications out, etc, etc, etc. I do believe that there is some shadow ban things happening on, um, like on videos based on what you say. Might be a bit of a conspiracy theory, but I'm not saying it as a conspiracy theory. I'm just saying that there is, well, first of all, there is definitely an algorithm running through your voice and uh, writing down, you know, the transcript. Therefore, there is definitely some kind of thing reading through what you are actually saying, right? That is guaranteed a thing, <laughs> even if you don't believe it. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't guarantee the thing because uh, my, my uh, video me, videos get demonetized just by word, right? That, that, that alone is enough explanation, right? Like, if, if, you, if you say something extremely bad in your video, then it will get detected and demonetized. So that alone definitely, you know, that alone is proof enough that the algorithm is checking what are you are saying inside the video itself. Now, the issue is I'm not sure if while checking, it also uses that checked knowledge for pushing the video you know what i should test this i could test this i could be like chess 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 this is a video about chess that people also much enjoy in the gaming community you know chess and this is a strategy roguelike um uh, chess uh, game of the year review uh, <laughs> should be like keywords keywords let's throw away keywords in there <laughs> maybe it works man maybe that's a thing just just maybe that's a thing maybe it is I, i'm honestly now that i'm thinking about it maybe it is a thing uh, once again not really a conspiracy theory just a random assumption because as nobody knows how the algorithm works i guess other than spiff and brit right that guy's a god at finding out the algorithm wants and how it functions. Let's go. I'm just rolling through the shop just for the memes. It's not like I'm actually searching for anything. I'm just talking. I'm having, you know, blank time in my mind. I'm just rolling through the shop, see what's there. Let's continue. And um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, Civilization 5, uh, Dota, League of Legends, World of Warcraft. Uh, <laughs> just keywords, man. Keywords. I don't know. <laughs> the best and most awesome established titles. Uh, scam. Uh, chess. Uh, <laughs> cheating. Scandal. <laughs> uh, Johnny Depp. I'm Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> I'm gonna really stop now with this stupidity. I hope you guys at least had a little bit of a laugh, okay? I hope you guys didn't just get triggered and... Or cringed with the joke. And I I hope you guys had your fun time alongside me while I was saying whatever. And um, yeah, hopefully it works. I mean, I think there was supposed to be... I remember Spiffing Brit like two years ago. He was doing a video explaining to just everybody spam in the comments like 20 keywords or something. And he was like, everybody spam in the comments these keywords. And all, all, all the comments were just the same random keywords that were in his description or whatnot. And then just the video exploded and whatnot. <laughs> I remember those days, good old days, good old meme days that, you know, I, uh, the only thing I have to say, we just lost a thing there. The only thing I have to say is good old days when people were literally playing the algorithm because of exploits, man. I, I think, you know what, I'm, I'm going to say something here that might be a bit controversial, but when somebody is exploiting something for gain while also memeing, uh, people are with him, right? Like Elon Musk and like, as I said, Spiff and Brett, like they are exploiting systems and people are with them because they do it alongside you, right? Hey guys, I'm here to exploit the system. Look at me actually becoming a successful YouTuber through exploits. And honestly, good to them. I'm not trash talking. I'm just saying good to them. This is more for philosophical discussion. This is more about, this is not about, uh, you know, plus or minus. But when people exploit the system with, uh, at the backs of others, then we're trash talking them, right? If somebody is, um, I don't know, a oil rig company or whatnot. Of course, these two things are not even remotely comparable, right? The one person is destroying the earth and the other one i guess not but the thing is that you do realize that whatever watch time these channels gather because of use of exploits is the same views uh, those views would have gone to some other channel that maybe would have been something else on the flip side of that of course is also the fact that that might not be true this is just a random assumption right because everybody's like um Everybody is always like, well, it, if it wasn't for that guy, then the other guy would be famous. Yeah, but why do you believe that? If it wasn't for that guy, maybe an already famous person was going to be more famous. You cannot possibly know where that audience would have gone otherwise, right? So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, you know, just throwing it out there. The main uh, opinion here about the philosophical idea I tried to point it out, to point out was that, you know, people use exploits and we trash talk them and people use exploits and we uh, tell them congratulations. The only difference is the manner at which they do it. So it's not about the content, it's about how you present yourself. And that is true in all aspects of life, in my opinion. So keep that in mind. Do not get swayed by uh, sweet, sweet words of something that under, you know, scrutiny actually is not something you should 
be happy about. Although, once again, I'm gonna cycle back and just express my opinion that I am watching Spiff and Brit. I do like his content. I'm not against him. You know, this is just a philosophical discussion about something. I'm not trying to trash talk anybody. This was just an example because I am watching him and, you know, I happen to use examples of things that I have lived, right? <laughs> and that I'm currently living, right? So, anyway. Uh, by the way, uh, the whole discussion opened up because I tried to say that, you know, like Elon Musk, who is memeing and everybody's like, yeah, let's go break everything, man. Uh, use exploits, have fun. Yeah, let's let's meme it up. And then, you know, one day he did uh, something very bad. By the way, I didn't even kill all the bosses. <laughs> I tried to maintain the duration here. It doesn't matter that we didn't kill the bosses. It really didn't. 5,000% uh, armor. We got 100% less damage taken. This run was a success. I didn't really see when this thing happened because I was preoccupied talking about exploits and whatnot. But I really enjoyed it. DPS-wise, 111, 84k, 127, 132, 188, and 43k. So the swords won out. The swords were actually better. And uh, yeah, nice. What an awesome run. 415 anvils. Of course, the most busted ones today. I mean, we were literally impossible to die. We were impossible to die. Not we were unable to die. We were impossible to die, man. My use of English sometimes. Just forget it, man. If you if you enjoyed what you watched, or if you believe that my English is bad, come drop a like. And if you hated what you watched and you think my English is good, then comment down below. I guess. I guess. I don't know, man. No, no I'm not sure about the people that hate it. <laughs> you can agree, disagree with the opinions I stated. I want to, you know, listen to some opinions again. Once again, we're not about hate here. We're more about the philosophy part of why would somebody do it i mean i'm saying philosophical but what i mean to say is like without feeling involved i i, I guess mm, i don't know not everybody can think without feeling so uh it is what it is you can express your whatever yeah, everybody can say whatever they want okay just 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 don't go overboard and get banned by from youtube by saying things that people say over at twitter you know that's that's the thing <laughs> anyway that's going to be it for today uh, I, as always, hope, hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.